Now it's open and everything is spread out further away from the entrance. Again, we don't get the impact right now. <laughs> because when, of this. But when this comes down, it's going to be exciting. Well, we're back on the Halteman project. Let's go see what's been done in the last week. Oh, wow. So we got the deck finished and it's drying out so that we can stain it. Hey, Alvin. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So Caleb's on his way? Yes. Great. This looks really good. All uh, painted and matched. Looks like brand new and can't tell that it was ever added. Now the roofing will be finished soon. Got to dry it in. Let's go inside and see some of the demolition of phase two. I can hear the doggies. <laughs> so we've got the dust proofing set up. Let's go see what we did over here. The ceiling has been raised. Oh, wow. And we found a lot of wires in those fur downs. This was all a fur down ceiling. It was lower and this is where it changed. Went back up right here, but now the whole thing is going to be all the way across. And look what else has happened. Oh my goodness. We've created another dust partition because we were taking out this section of wall here. So the new triple microlam suspended header and uh, yeah, this is a beam has now been installed. Before we had a header that was right here. It was right at this height and it went to about right here. Now that's been opened up, the ceiling was lower and now it's been raised up and there's our new support. And this is a little detail of what we had to do. We built another wall because we had, you know, we're, we're gaining so much space, but we needed it to carry this weight. So you can see right here that we have three members and three weight supporting studs. So we don't studs. need a steel? No, no steel was needed in this one. We had an engineer, Baraklis, uh, Louis Baraklis actually engineered it three, nine and a quarter, by inch and three quarter micro lens is all that was needed on this. Well, it's still a lot. I mean, three is, is a wide load. But you get three bearing and that'll pass all inspections. This left room where we didn't have to interfere with any of the venting and the, and the wall, there's a vent that's, not only does it go down here, but you can see that it turns. And that's what we wanted to avoid. We want to, so we built another little wall out here, just outside of it, that still makes this look incredibly bigger. So when the dust proofing barrier the dust wall goes down, we're going to be able to see a nice big view from that front door all the way to the back. And that's what's going to be really exciting. Of course, this unit is still functioning temporarily because uh, as of tomorrow, we'll be installing the new mini split units. And then we'll be taking that out. And this, and this is all going to come away. We're already doing new flooring in the whole place, so we might as well just take all this and new flooring will cover it. We'll fill in. These deep, and we're going to show this later on in the details, but this type of flooring can be left under the new LVP. It's one of the exciting things about the luxury vinyl plank that we're installing, the wood look vinyl plank, and we will be floating all this out to make sure it's level, and, and this will be an area that we will be filling up to make it even with the top. But we don't have to take any of this out? We do not have to take it out. This is, this is an AC vent. This is what it would have been for the heat portion. We don't need it, of course, for the uh, cold part in the summer. And, but when you're in the winter, this is a an exhaust for the gases that go through the roof. It's actually vented, and then it goes up through the roof. But this is all going to go away. It's all gone now because we don't. The new units will be all electric. They will not have any gas, and that's a that's a plus whenever there's such an efficient unit like a mini split. Uh, this will be a Linux mini split system, which and our Custom Builders USA and the Texas Custom Builders Guild buying co-op, we get really good pricing on it. So we're excited to offer this to the Haltmans. Well, this is just going to change so much. Get more efficiency, better heating and cooling, more humidity being removed. It's going to be a lot more comfortable home. We're putting three units in, and then of course we were able to get rid of all this. All of this, because the ductwork was all inside the ceiling, could now be gone. You can't get, you cannot put this in here if this is going up and it's going through 
all these joists. There's no way to do it. You have a fur down ceiling. This is where it was running through before. It was running here, right into there. These studs were not there. This is the old ductwork right here. And then it was also going up and that way and in, in going into the uh, master bedroom area in the hallway there. None of that's needed anymore because with the new mini splits. So you cannot get a fur down ceiling out in this case, at least not the areas we really wanted to, unless we get rid of the AC system. But the benefit is this system will pay for itself. The new system that replaces this one is going to pay for itself in much lower utility bills. And as we mentioned, it's much more comfortable because it's removing humidity all the time. It almost stays running all the time at a very low speed. And so it's going to be really exciting to see all the benefits in addition to the aesthetics and the improved design that this allows for an open feeling. When you walked in before, the ceiling was pushing down on this. Now it's open and everything is spread out further away from the entrance. Again, we don't get the impact right now. <laughs> because when, of this. But when this comes down, it's going to be exciting. So the last thing I want to point out is that we did remove the cabinetry. It feels a lot bigger. Yeah, it is. So doesn't this make a big difference when you walk in? I didn't in, think it's it make, would. They're able to change their dining to this area now and it'll be more centered with the new opening, the new doors. Mm -hmm. And that's really gonna be a focal point. And the walkway will be right between here and the island. And that's just really gonna be very, very conducive to walking through the living room. Before everything was, was, was routing you around in a little narrow hallway. Mm -hmm. So you were going through basically a dark tunnel to come into the, to see that there was a nice view out back and you only got that view from a little window and a little, and a little door. door and there was a fireplace blocking it. So if we were designing a home today, it would be designed like this, yeah. where you see the front, you see the back, all in the same rooms, and everything is open and feels more uh, one, feels more like one. And the walls are gone, the fur downs are gone. Remember, this was a fur down too that is now gone. This is what the project started with, but it's been become so much more than that because they saw the potential and they were very open to suggestions. So. Little projects can become bigger ones and they can be done in phases and this was thought about it being done in phases but then they decided to do it in one and we're really excited to be able to do all of these elements. One, two, three, kitchen also four and so this is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to show you all the progress as it happens. Mm -hmm.